Follow these six tips for reducing inflammation in your body naturally. No one wants to be restricted in food or physical activities because your immune system failed to protect your body from inflammation. Some of you might even think to let it pass as your body will eventually recuperate itself. Wrong. Unattended, inflammation can sometimes lead to unwanted or unexpected chronic diseases. Lucky as you are, we will tell you the secret of how to recover from inflammation quickly. Follow these six steps for reducing inflammation in your body naturally. You heard it right. Six tips. How hard can it be, right? But before we dig down deep, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more sustainable living approach videos, and hit the notification bell. Let's get into it. Before anything else, we need to know what inflammation is. Acute inflammation is a natural response of your body in ongoing combat of your immune system and white blood cells against germs or even bacteria to avoid foreign bodies from spreading and can lead to severe cases. And these cells that respond to inflammation also heal the affected area. Some of you might think, how can I have inflammation if I have an extra strong immune system? In some cases, inflammation occurs due to injuries and even infections. Sometimes your diet can also be the primary reason for inflammation. How can you tell if you have inflammation? Remember RWSP, which stands for redness, warmth, swelling, and pain around the injury. No need to treat it, it's just a simple inflammation. Keep in mind that a no-brainer process can always treat a simple inflammation, but unattended acute inflammation can escalate and result in a more severe condition such as rheumatoid arthritis. Natural tips for reducing inflammation in your body. Healing your body isn't always about taking medicine that contains strong chemicals enough to damage your liver and kidneys. Don't forget that there are tons of natural remedies for almost everything and even your inflammation can be reduced by natural remedies. These six tips only need your 100% cooperation and willingness. 1. Focus on your anti-inflammation diet. One of the simplest ways to reduce inflammation in your body naturally is to focus on what you put in your mouth. Yes, focus on your diet to reduce the inflammation in your body. To put it simply, what you eat will be your defense against inflammation, meaning what you eat has to be nurtured by your defense system to strengthen them to protect you from it. So in healing your inflammation naturally, it depends on how you want it to be. Besides reducing your body's inflammation, most diets that are not recommended when you have an inflammation can make you more susceptible to gain increases that can lead to unwanted obesity. What would be the best solution to this? It is to have a balanced diet and reduce or eliminate food that can contribute or add to your inflammation. Want to give an anti-inflammatory diet a try? Hear me out. What you want to intake is something that is rich in omega-3. Why, you may ask? Because a simple balanced meal with omega-3 can do wonders, as omega-3 is famously known for its rich and pure anti-inflammatory properties. What is the best source of omega-3? Look no more. It's tuna. You also have to reduce or avoid consuming tons of starchy vegetables, like root crops such as peas, potatoes, lentils, and corn. What else? Fruits that are low in sugar like avocados, seeds, raw nuts, and berries. However, practicing an anti-inflammatory diet doesn't guarantee that you can naturally reduce your inflammation. Why? Because there are times when you forget your strict diet and start sneaking some meat that is grain-fed, roasted nuts, processed food, or even food with vegetable oil. These foods fire up the inflammation and will make you suffer longer. Number 2. Heal your gut You must have heard about healing your gut and decided to laugh it out. Healing your gut actually does more charm than you think. Cleansing and healing your gut has tons of benefits to your healing and can even make your skin healthier and stop acne growth. Plus, you can never recover from inflammation without doing something about your gut. Whenever your gut is under stress or pressure, its function is also disrupted. What does the gut do? 
It absorbs all the nutrients your body needs, enough to make you breathe and move. Now, if the gut is disrupted, you do not have the required nutrients to protect you from foreign bodies, which will eventually lead to inflammation. And once your disrupted gut is left unattended, severe conditions such as food sensitivity, leaky gut syndrome, and the worst one, autoimmune disease can start occurring. There are occurrences when the inflammation in your body gets heated and becomes full body. You can experience recurring headaches, unknown pain, and many more that correlate to your gut not being able to function properly. And if you don't know, healing your gut takes a lot of time and together with your time is your utmost patience. Is there another way to heal your gut? No, there are no shortcuts. However, your gut will heal in no time with an anti-inflammation diet, discipline, and including nutrients such as prebiotics and L-glutamine. Number 3. Increase and take your nutrients consistently. Let's agree that sticking to one boring diet can make you puke easily, or you might feel uneasy with it simply because you're used to it and want to change your diet. And of course, your lifestyle plays a huge part in reducing your inflammation naturally. There are countless foods that you can choose from, even if you are on an anti-inflammatory diet. With your chosen well-balanced meal, an increase in the right supplements can somehow lift your spirit to keep on going. I'm talking about supplements that have a significant amount of anti-inflammatory properties. What are those? Curcumin. What is curcumin? Probably most of you have seen this before. It is typically used as a spice and bright yellow-orange natural color. Some have it that curcumin is an excellent support of nutrients and has anti-inflammatory properties. Did you guess what it is? It's turmeric. Yep, heard it right. It is also well known to have antioxidant properties and it's one of a kind gut healing benefit. All you have to do is find some organic ground turmeric. You can use it as a spice or you can simply top some into your meal. If you are not into it, you can look for a curcumin or turmeric supplement. Probiotics I know most of you have heard about probiotics, the good bacteria that can help you stay healthy. But have you ever heard that probiotics are also a normal flora in your gut? Yes, it's a bacteria you can usually see in your gut, maintaining excellent balance. Do you also know that this microorganism can be used as a supplement and act as a nutrient supply to aid inflammation in your body? Yep, it's true. Probiotics are one of the greatest sources of probiotics that are high potency. Number 4. Get active. As everyone says, move your body every time you have a chance. This helps you release stress and makes you healthier. Tons of studies backed up that moving around and jogging daily can protect you from chronic, severe diseases and even full body inflammation. Not just these, you can also avoid having diabetes type 2 and even cardiovascular conditions. Getting active isn't limited to walking around or jogging consistently. One of the many forms of getting active is doing yoga, using weights around, and brisk walking, which isn't hard like going to the gym, dragging yourself to sweat. It was even said that doing regular exercise consistently is far more efficient and effective. It can and will also help reduce inflammation in your body. If you're an athlete or a gym rat, it is recommended to do the strict anti-inflammation diet as stated before due to the high risk of inflammation. The more active you are, the more you are prone to inflammation. The whole point of getting active is being able to break limits with your body without even compromising and abusing your health and body. Number 5. Be mindful of toxins. Have you ever wondered why you still get inflammation despite keeping a healthy and strict anti-inflammation diet? Mostly it's because environmental toxins can eventually disrupt your hormone balance and make your immune system go haywire. These toxins are everywhere, and when I say everywhere, I literally mean even in your chair right now, table, bed, sofa. It can be from your furniture or even your cosmetics. Once your immune system goes haywire, this is the chance for inflammation to start. And the risk of escalation of your acute inflammation to chronic inflammation, autoimmune conditions, and even cancer is high. What will happen if you're all inflamed? 
You have had enough toxins to reduce or eliminate them to prevent the inflammation in your body from escalating, and you have to stop them. But how? By carefully handpicking the stuff you use the most, like your lotions or makeup, or the ones you are constantly exposed to. It can be a cleaner product or the soap you use that you don't even notice. This is where tip numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4 come in. You have to practice these 4 tips to reduce your inflammation. And since you might know by now what causes your inflammation, you get to prevent or stay away from it. You can also seek help from professionals on detoxifying yourself from these toxins for a healthier lifestyle. Number 6. Sleep Does Wonder Do you know what's the most fascinating thing about everyone's body? It regenerates and recuperates itself from its original state while you're enjoying the fluffy cloud in your dreams. You heard it right, and your body typically heals when you are asleep. Sleep is one of the most crucial tips you must follow. If you have been sleep deprived even for three whole days, the reduction of your body's inflammation becomes slower than usual. Sleep deprivation typically results in unhealthy choices such as drinking an unnecessary amount of coffee and resorting to instant meals such as junk food and noodles. This stresses your body even more. What would happen then? It will slowly escalate to conditions you wouldn't even want to know. The more sleep deprived you are, the more irritated and stressed you are, which will lead to loss of sleep again. It's a never ending cycle. So if you want to reduce the inflammation, it requires you a hefty eight to nine hours of straight sleep. Do you know the essential key to reducing inflammation in your body naturally? It is the discipline and willingness to heal. And that is all for today's video. What do you think is the best way to prevent inflammation? Let us know in the comment section below. Before leaving, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to click the notification bell for more videos.